Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bless him, Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Yahweh, Rakat the Yahweh Shai. Rakat the Rakat Kadash. All right, double honors to our apostles, great millstone, our elders, the GMS. And salutations, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect, to the children of Israel, the people of Negro and Indian descent. All right, Israelite foreigners, those that don't even look like the Israelites, no more Israelites of Negro and Indian descent complexion. All right, faith based Israelite in Aqua that believe in humbling themselves and to learn and uh, repent to the wickedness that they've been in, that they've been devil into. All right, so a quick lesson here from just uh, reading a scripture. So I just pull it up on a you know, you do a search on any scripture to come up on a Google, but um, put this up here Son of man, I have made you a watchman to the house of Israel, therefore, hear. And that's the one I'm looking at. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's the word hear that just got me thinking. Hear, hear, hearken, hearken. Same thing, man. Just listening, listening, paying attention to, you know, and looking at the scriptures, the, the word hearken and hear is in this. I mean, uh, more like it's probably over 200, 300 times, you know, on well, my Bible app is 130 times, 120 something times. You know, for the word uh, hearken alone. So that's why I always say that, that how that spiritual ass whooping that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is about to hand down on the two thirds is going to be so severe because he kept repeating himself over and over and over again. You know, while they're claiming to be so these spiritual enlightened conscious individuals, they remain straight up in the dark, man. Just straight, straight, straight up remaining. In the dark. So again, the word here, just looking at these words, um, it's actually a couple of them we'll go into. I mean, this ain't nothing deep. This is just a um, an eye opener. <laughs> you know, I might say uh, eye opener. You know, you know when the scripture speaks, when the men of the Lord speak, and that's right, the the Most High sent out men of the Lord, you know, to give you understanding. You know, to give you warning, you know, from old times when the ancient, in the ancient days, when the people saw the prophets coming, they were worried. They were literally worried. And I'm not sure that in, in, that's in the book of, um, I'm not sure if that's second Kings or not. I'm not going to look for it right now. Um, but they were worried, you know, oh shit, here comes the prophet. Usually when a prophet comes, a prophet's coming with bad news, man, because everybody's out doing their own goddamn thing, you know? Excuse my French, but they out there doing their own damn thing, you know, going off as usual. So remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy power to wrath in the wilderness. From the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until ye came unto this place, ye have been rebellious against the Lord. Whew, even unto this day, they are being they are being rebellious to the Lord. You know, being rebellious. I like I said, this ain't nothing deep or anything. This is just a an eye opener, like I said, to hearken. And we're just gonna look a few times of what um, the hearken, what he means by hearken. Hearken means to give ear and listen, hear with attention. So the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He demands your attention. You know, especially when the man of the Lord is speaking. He demands your attention, you know? So again, it says um, a suffix form of he o ocean, he ocean, root for hark from Proto-Germanic John. Harkin is to usual spelling you as it's probably as better as whatever, whatever. To see, to hear. So to give ear, listen, and to give your attention. Um, so let's dive into that. Just looking, just looking at the word hearken in the scriptures. I mean, it's it's all over this bad boy. It's like it. It's all over this bad boy. Here we go. I knew I did a search one somewhere. It's all over this bad boy. Hearken. <laughs> I 
Exodus 4 and 1, Exodus 4 and 8, dealing with Moses. You know the hard, the, the knuckleheads uh, Moses had to deal with. Uh, like the account when the Most High opened the earth and swallowed those demons up for not listening. So I'm just going to dive up some more. Just looking at it. You see, it goes on forever. The word hearken. Leviticus 26 and 21. And if ye walk contrary unto me, contrary, the opposite, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Seven, which represents completion, a perfect, a, a complete, perfect, a perfect, a perfect destruction. All right. Contrary. And that's the Babylonian way to be contrary to, the, uh, to righteousness, opposite. Contrariness, encounter, contrary or hostile encounter. Ooh, I didn't expect that. Hostile encounter. That's what we experience. You know, especially out there on the streets, a hostile encounter, you know, just people are hostile. Okay, let me go up a little bit more. Like I said, it's full of it, it's full of it. Um, let me go up a little bit more. The book of Job. Um, Job 34 10, therefore hearken unto me ye men of understanding far be it from the most high that he should do wickedness and from the almighty that he should quit, uh, commit iniquity <laughs> let, me, let me go into this let me see what's going on 34 and 10. Come on. Therefore, hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from the Most High that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. For the work of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Yea, surely the Most High will not do wickedly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment, who have given him a charge over the earth, or who have disposed the whole earth. If he set his heart upon man, if he gather unto himself his spirit and his breath, all flesh shall perish together, and the man shall turn again unto the dust. If now thou hast understanding, hear this, hearken to the voice of my words. Hearken, hearken, hearken. What was that? I don't know, it's in Job. Psalms. Ooh, Psalm 34 and 11. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Oh, that's powerful because the fear of the Lord, like the scripture says, is the beginning of wisdom. The, the fear of the Lord. And that's what we pretty much teach. What's the scripture? It says, um, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. <laughs> Let me look at this other scripture as well. What kind of scriptures going through my mind? Um. 
X8, 31. And he said, how can I accept man? This is the account when the brother's trying to learn the Ethiopian. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem to Gaza, which is, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of, of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So was he an Israelite or was he a heathen? He again, let me read that. Who had the charge of our treasure and had come to Jerusalem to worship. It's a commandment for Jake to come to, uh, to Jerusalem to worship, you know? That's what Jake's do. Okay, so it says, We're returning and sitting in his chariot, read, read Isaiah as, as the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him. Read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man shall guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. <laughs> so it's the most high send you men for you to listen to and to guide you. That's my point. You know, the place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter and his like a lamb dumb before his shear. So open he not his mouth, and his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare this generation for his life is taken from the earth? Okay. So we're going back to here again. But like I said, like the scripture says, it's a rebellious generation, man. You know, they, they, they choose to, to find their own path, to seek out their own understanding. But the scripture says to lean not on your own understanding, you know, to seek not your own understanding. You're giving men of the Lord, you know, to lead you in that path. You know, this word hearken, man, is heavy. Again, Psalms 81 and 8. Eighty-one and seven. Thou callest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret places of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Meribah. Salah. Verse eight. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, that thou wilt hearken. If thou wilt hearken unto me, if there shall no strange god be in thee. Neither shall thou worship any strange God. Again, hearken to this. I am the Lord, thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. You know, but my people would not hearken to my voice. And Israel would none of me. Man, this place is in, these people are in trouble, man. They literally have no idea the severity of their uh, of their transgression. They have no ideal. No, actually, let me correct myself. They have no care. They have no care. You know? <sighs> mm. This is heavy. It's heavy. I'm just going to read a couple more. Ooh, Proverbs 8. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. This is the Israelites he's talking to, the children of Israel. Blessed, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. And refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me. 
because this is a hell of a blessing to know this now and to look back the state of mind we were in before we even our eyes, our minds was even opened by uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Oh, man. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Watch daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrong, wrongeth his own soul. Well, these people have no value in their own souls. They literally have no value in their own souls. They're doing their own thing, you know, and they minds, this is it. This is it, this life. And there's nothing else after this. So they living in by, by the flesh. They living by the, uh, you know, by the flesh, by pleasing themselves. It says, all they that hate me love death. You know, the transgressors, you know. That's beautiful. That's powerful right there. That's powerful right there. You know. Let me find this one scripture. Um, I know I'm going to struggle. Um, I'm going to struggle. Actually trying to quote the scripture in my head so I can type it in. Let me just throw this in right there. So I know it's in the book of Matthews, Mark, and John. Okay. Oh, here we go. John and Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said, For judgment I am come into the world, this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? It's just a foolish state of mind. These people, the Pharisees were fools, man. Your eyes, Yahweh Shai said unto him, If ye were blind, ye, sh ye should have not no sin. But now he say, we see, wherefore your sin remaineth. Okay, let me get this other one, though. It's like it will we? lock it okay here we go Matthews I'm gonna close here okay therefore speak I to them in parables <laughs> Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seen, see not. In hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. So it's the actual spirit of the Lord that's actually have a veil on you, over your eyes, over your mind, blocking you out. Because you're being, you've been pretty much been born in vain, you know, you've been born just to burn. <laughs> it says, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive, you know, especially you have a sign out there, uh, like we have a sign, a slavery sign, of you know, which uh, pretty much uh, 13 and 9, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. They can, can't comprehend the pic, the photos. They can't put it all together, you know, they can't put it all together. Okay, so it says, for this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears, ears are dull of hearing. So you pretty much get an understanding. Uh, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see. You know, we see the storm coming, you know. And your ears, for they hear. We hear the warning, you know? So we could put the whole thing together, the broad picture together, and just put it together. And, and hey, the equation we come up with, he's living in these last days, this devil, this, the end of the world, you know? And get understanding what he even means by the end of the world, you know? Got the damn wacky tacky Christians at the end of the world. I mean, there ain't going to be nothing else in existence. They can't even explain their way out of it. They can't explain it or their way out of it. <laughs> fools man so it says for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things 
which we see, which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When one, when any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he that received his seed by the wayside. So there we go. So, Shalom.